When I loaded up on Monday morning to head to the Spirit of the Swanee Music Park for my shuttle, I was prepared for a five-day solo trip down the Swanee River. I was prepared for some long, peaceful days. I was prepared to get rained on. But on this trip, it's what I wasn't prepared for that will provide the most lasting memories. Meet Ethan. I met him on Monday at the boat ramp in White Springs. He was finishing up loading up his boat and preparing to launch when I arrived. And while we did not talk much then, when we met up again at Woods Ferry, we discovered that we had each planned the exact same trip with the exact same stops over the exact same period of time. What resulted was a new friendship based on a mutual respect for the outdoors, love of adventure, and the shared experience of paddling down this beautiful Florida waterway. All right, after a two and a half hour drive, a 30-ish minute shuttle ride, and some rain as I was loading up the boat. I'm finally on the Swanee. Pretty excited about this. Just some rain, no thunder or lightning, and my rain stuff. Got my spray skirt on. The river's moving. San uh, Swanee Canoe Outpost. Awesome guys. Uh, talking to the shuttle driver, they do trips all up and down the Swanee. Can put you in at Fargo and then pick you up down at Swanee where the river feeds into the Gulf. So I could use these guys for a source to sea trip. And they said it only takes about a week. You can do it in a week. Right on. Alright, so I'm not I'm actually not alone out here. I ran into a guy named Ethan who was putting in. Um, doing a solo canoe trip, actually doing sounds like the exact same trip that I'm doing. So see him at should see him at Woods Ferry tonight. Yeah. I might actually have company. I'm gonna drift here a little bit. And let the heavier stuff go down.
So, as I'm sure you can see behind me, water's up a little high. It actually comes up the ramp to walk up to the park, the campground. Water's moving pretty good. So yeah, came in, actually pulled up onto the ramp, onto this, yeah, onto the ramp, walk ramp, unloaded everything, took it up, carried the boat up. Let's go, let's go check out the Woods Ferry River Camp. All right, let's go. I'm walking as fast as the river right now. Because if I stop, see, ta-da, there it goes. It's moving pretty good. Got here 12 miles in three hours, wasn't too bad. Beat the storm, that's what matters. All right. And the campground's up there. Straining leaves out of the water. Woods Ferry. GPS coordinates, or lat long coordinates, not necessarily GPS coordinates. So we are 159.3 miles from the Gulf, river miles. Came past Stephen Foster's Cultural Center. We're gonna pass the Spirit of the Swanee Music Park to get to Holton Creek tomorrow. But Holton Creek is gonna be like this place. River camp with built stuff and you'll see. Right. To our the campground. And because I'm gonna end where I'm staying, I'm gonna show you the primitive camp area. Which is this way. It's not very big. Look, come over a couple bridges and ta-da! They have a grill, they have a camp a campfire, fire ring, and this is it, some place for some tents. Maybe able to fit a hammock somewhere, maybe in between those two trees right there. But yeah, we can walk over here, this is pretty cool, this bench. Primitive bench for the primitive camp area. You can see the river down there. Let's go to the not primitive camp area. This is where we walked up from. Then you walk this way. See? Walk this way. And there's a rack for boats. The canoe is the other guy that's staying here. We're sounds like we're gonna be traveling together because we're doing we're actually doing the exact same trip. But there's the two boats. We have restrooms with hot water hot running water. I'm not going to show you inside because that's just weird. Got a national water trail sign there. Some information. I am wearing bug spray. More information. Alright. Then we come this way. Pavilion for parties. 
Got a fire pit and some grills. Trash. There was actually trash cans outside of each sleeping platform. But there's one right here. With a ramp. I did not take that one. It's the only one with a ramp. But, you know, handicapped people don't want to take that. Didn't want to take that in case someone showed up and needed it. So I'm back here. Platform three, and then me. Platform four, and this is home for the night. There is a fifth one back this way. I actually haven't been this back this way yet. Let's check it out. Yeah, it doesn't really go back that way anymore, but you got platform five, and that's it. There's five platforms. But. Platform 5 does not have a garbage can. Alright, so every platform but 5 has a garbage can. See a garbage can there. And everyone has a fire pit, picnic table. And then I do not have a fancy log bench by my fire pit, but that's fine. And then quick tour. Please don't mind the mess. I got my mess over there. I'm gonna got my hammock set up. Got my stuff drying out for today because I did get rained on. And this is home for the night. Turn on the light just in case. Don't know if that helps, but yep, home for the night. And that's the Wood Fairies Woods Fairy Camp. Yeah, buddy.
Goodbye, spirit of the Swanee. Onward to Holton Creek.
All right, so we are at Holton Creek River Camp. We've been here for about two hours now. I don't know if you can hear the thunder rumbling in the background, but uh, we're gonna wait a little bit, see what this thing's gonna do, and then do camp tour. If it goes on too late, just do it in the morning before we go, but I'm all set up here. Got clothes hanging up to dry, got my hammock set up, got my living quarter corner set out but cozy little cabin you can see one of the other ones over there Ethan's over there there's another one here and then um, there's a fifth one up that way that has the handicap ramp and the restrooms are up that way too but the boat ramp, the river, is that way. But see what happens with the storm and then do, do a little bit of a tour later. So after waiting for about an hour for a storm to materialize that just <laughs> seems to want to threaten, but not actually rain. Well, I say not actually rain, but my boat's wet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a quick tour of the Holton Creek River Camp. Alright, so water's still high. You can see it actually coming over. It's over two steps, actually. Um, you can see one pretty well, but there is a second one down there. It looks like. And then, so, out there, out in here, this should, under lower water conditions actually be a little beach but yep little dock area and because of stairs and me being lazy I just left my boat here put the put the cockpit seal over it should be good there over morning no one can see it coming down the river because because of all that stuff and with all the decking and stuff, people probably can't see it coming up the river until they're passing it, but it's pretty. There's something over there. There's something splashing in the water on my way down the stairs, too. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants to be. It apparently doesn't want to be seen. All right, so Holton River, Holton Creek River Camp. We came from Spirit of the Swanee, 7.6 miles away, upriver. Uh, actually, we came from Woods Ferry, which is another 11 or so miles upriver from there. And then we're not stopping at Swanee River. Well, staying at Swanee River. We'll stop by there for a break. And then continue another 10 or so miles to get to uh, Dowling Park. Which is the name of a river camp and a town. Alright, so upstairs. And the gentleman that I met yesterday in White Springs. And we were at Woods Ferry together. There's this boat. I either, well, lighter boat, no. I like my roto molded kayak thing can take a beating. I need my boat to be able to take a beating, but I need a yoke. Even with a yoke, I don't know that I would have carried it up, but that thing's like half the weight of mine. All right. So we come up. There's signs for primitive camping. I haven't gone over to look at the primitive camping. I don't think I'm going to go over and look at the primitive camping. But for future reference, there is primitive camping here. One rack. Two racks. Wheelbarrow. 
There's Ethan's pavilion. Oh, come in this way. Something that's really cool about this camp. See if the weather will cooperate enough for us to use it. Or if we're not too tired to use it. <laughs> There's a fire pit with like seating and stuff around it. Looks like someone started and left stuff. You can see down there, you know, it kind of overlooks the river a little bit, upstream a little bit. Okay. All right, moving on. There's a water spigot there. I think that's a water spigot. Yep, that's a water spigot. Um, a water spigot that doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. All right. And I hear the thunder threatening again. It's been threatening for like two hours now. All right, so that's down to the river. And come this way to the river camps. This one's laid out a little differently. It actually starts with the pavilions. This is the first one. This is where Ethan's at tonight. And then... There's a second one. Number two. I'm at number three. Number four is right over there. There's a sign pointing to primitive camping. I don't know where that's supposed to be back there, but I guess it's supposed to be back there somewhere. Then you've got the picnic table covered pavilion place. Oh, I see a fire pit out there. I guess that's where the primitive camping is supposed to be. Let's follow this. Follow this path. And there is pavilion number five back this way with a ramp for handicap. And then restrooms. And the restrooms here are air conditioned. Yeah. And then there's not anything out past that. It's area for the campground host, but there doesn't seem to be a campground host out here today. But it's Halton Creek. And I already videoed inside my little pavilion, so I think that about does it. There's actually a couple little there's a table there, and there's a table over there. There's a couple primitive spots. Seems to be more primitive camping here than at Woods Ferry. I wonder why that is. I wonder if more people come here for primitive camping as opposed to stopping at Woods Ferry. All right. That's Holton Creek.
day three. Woo!
we still got about five miles to camp. Let's do this. Like Florida weather winds today. Yeah. I saw a cool spot, man. Like, you know what? We're, we're there. We got some big turns coming up. And, and we're riding around Arden Village, and it's uh, two miles. Yeah. So we made it. And this green like this moment. We're going to have to get to Nope. Okay. Oh yeah. What's your thing saying? We are at 25.3 miles. That sounds about right. Averaging about 6.4 miles an hour. Right.
25 miles. It is currently, um, I don't know, because my watch isn't working, 4.50, I can see it on my phone. Um, been at camp for about an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half. I'm dry, I have dry clothes on, everything is set up for the evening. I am tired. Uh, longest paddling day. At about 28 and a half miles, I think is what the final reading was. Um, yeah. We're at Dowling Park, and despite there being a town, like we can see the bridge just up the river, and if there's a town right on the other side of the bridge on the other side of the river, I have no cell service. I don't know if it's because I'm piggybacking off of T-Mobile, or if it's the weather, but I'm sure you can hear in the background that it is raining. In the last two miles, we did in the rain after sheltering under, sheltering in an eddy under a tree for a little bit while there was some heavy wind and, or some wind gusts and uh, some lightning and thunder. Uh, I think tomorrow is a bit shorter but we're gonna be going from here to Adam's Tract. There is a river camp at Peacock Slough, um, but we're gonna pass that because Adam's Tract is only like nine and a half miles past that. Um, and I think Peacock Slough is only like 13 miles from here. So 13 plus nine, it's shorter than today. Today was like 28, so. When, if it stops raining, I'll do a camp tour like I've done at the other camps. Um, this one's a, this this pavilion's actually elevated up off the ground quite a bit, and uh, I do want to get some video or pictures of that before I go. It's pretty cool. Really enjoying this trip so far. Uh, until later. Day four, leaving Dowling Park. It's our last full day of paddling. I'm uh, well, I'm not disappointed yet. I'm sure I'll be disappointed a little later. Cause uh, it's a uh, good day, it's a good time. Adam's track, here we go.
stop one down. Nine point what seven miles is the sign say? For Peacock Slough? Seven? Oh, seven miles for Peacock Slough. <laughs> Let's go!
Two 200 pound sturgeon waiting to jump in my boat to get me. All right, all right, we're gonna do this quick because while well, I didn't get to do this for Holton Creek last night because it wouldn't stop raining, it is now starting to rain. We've been here for about an hour or so. Real quick camp for the tour of the camp. Water's still high. That was from a boat that just came by. Water's still high. Getting out of this was pretty interesting. We are at Adam's Tract. That is someone else's boat who's here tonight too. Um, we came from Holton Creek which was another nine miles upriver from Peacock Slough. We did about 28 miles today and it's starting to rain. All right, so I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna try and go quick so that I can get back to my pavilion cause I'm in dry clothes and I don't wanna get wet again. All right, so up here, we got the boats. I did not have to carry the boat. It's wood all the way up to the boat uh, rack. So I just dragged it. Behind that, you got the restrooms. You got Pavilion One over there. That's where the other guy that's here is sleeping. And then, covered Pavilion, which is where we'll probably be having dinner tonight because picnic tables outside the sleeping platforms aren't covered. Come this way. There's some other stuff back out there. I don't know what it is. We're not gonna worry about it. Okay. That is number two. That's where Ethan is tonight. And then, come back this way. And there is number three. And that's where I am. And four and five are just past a little further. So, yep. Beat the rain by a good almost an hour and a half today, which is nice. The only wet we were was mostly from sweat, but we did stop by Peacock Slough to check it out and see what it looks like. I'm come down here because I don't know if there's enough light to see me by. Um, we did stop by Peacock Slough to check out and see what it's like. It really had the nicest uh, takeout of all of them, but uh, all the cabins were reserved, which is kind of surprising because the website said that all the camps were first come first serve. So it's a good thing we weren't planning on staying there. That would have been a rather frustrating surprise. Um, so yeah, a little less than 10 miles tomorrow and that's it. This is last night. This is the last camp. 
and tomorrow it's back to civilization. I'm not sad yet. I'll probably be a little sad tomorrow. But it'll be nice to see people at home. And to sleep in a bed. Although, slept pretty damn good in the hammock. And the thunder. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside and relax, and I'll check in with you later.
Making the boat ramp in Brantford presented itself with a mixture of emotions. It goes without saying that I was tired, but overpowering that was an intense feeling of accomplishment. This had been my longest trip to date, both in days out and miles covered. And despite the tiredness I felt, I still felt like I could have kept going. I was a little sad that it was over, but immensely proud of my accomplishment. And as for Ethan, while we do not currently have any plans for another trip together, we will definitely be adventuring together again in the future. Where doesn't really matter. With good company and a trustworthy friend, you can go anywhere. All I can say for certain is that this will not be my last time on the Swanee River.